Hey, this is Brett, and today I am super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door, and you guessed it, it is the Rubicon X package. This is one of the first Rubicon X packages we have gotten on our lot, and it is fully stocked with all the new stuff for 2024, the mid-model refresh, and I'm gonna go over everything that that entails as well as everything that this particular Wrangler has on it. And uh, bright white is the color. The 3.6 liter V6 engine is what powers this vehicle. It has 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque, and it's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. I'm gonna go over everything like I said. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Let's get into it right away. Um, starting off with the front here, you can see that this one does have a worn winch. This one just came off the truck. They are now offering a worn winch as an optional $19.95 option on the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X. And it is an 8,000 pound winch and it is made by Warren comes right on the vehicle. It has a synthetic rope on it. It also comes with a winch controller that they put in the back of the vehicle. This one has the steel bumpers, front and rear, part of that Rubicon X package. You'll notice that this one has the LED light group with the LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights. Now that is a standard thing across all the trim levels, except the Sport and Sport S. It's an option on the Sport S, uh, but that is new that it is standard. So good job, Jeep. Uh, also, the grill is new. You can see it is a little bit thinner. And it's actually not thinner, it's just a visual play here. They have pl black plastic down there, so it kind of blends in. The painted part is thinner, and the actual grill pieces, I believe, are a little thinner than the 2023. Um, once again, the Sport is not, and Sport S are not going to have that grill. They're going to have the old grill, the 2023 grill. Anyways, that is new for 2024 as well. Uh, you still get the kind of sporty hood on there. Uh, for the Rubicon X 24Y package, you get the painted fenders. You also get the painted hardtop. So those are big options uh, to get on any of the Wranglers. It's pretty expensive to get those options. So keep that in mind when we look at the original window sticker. Also, this one has the LT 315-70R17 tires, and you get the uh, suspension upgrade on here as well with that. So that sway bar link right there is one inch bigger, and the springs are one inch bigger over the standard Rubicon. Um, so basically, it's like getting a 35-inch uh, Extreme Recon package on here, which I think is like $4,000 um, when you get the Rubicon X. 24Y package. You get these 17 inch uh, beadlock capable wheels. These are new wheels for 2024. Also new for 24 is you get the uh, Jeep logo on there instead of the word Jeep. These are BF Goodrich all-terrain TAKO2s. These are 315 70R17s. Get a good look at that tread pattern. You'll also know with those bigger tires you get the extensions on the fender flares there front and rear. Also new for 2024 no antennas and you get a second trail rated badge on the passenger side. Where did that antenna go? It goes in, into the windshield, which is new for 2024. Also, these windshields are now all Corning Gorilla Glass, except on the Sport package. Uh, because of the steep angle, they're prone to windshield chips, and Jeep thinks that the Corning Gorilla Glass is gonna be stronger. You also get the rock rails on here. That is pretty much standard on any Rubicon. T50 is still on the doors. Doors still come off the same way as the 2023 model. So that means our video on how to take those doors off still works. So check that out in the lower comments section and in the upper right hand part of the screen. Here's the original window sticker on this particular Jeep. You can see it is a Rubicon X 4x4. Uh, bright white is the color, black interior. This one does have the Napa leather seats, which means this one does have the power seats in front, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to show you those in just a minute, so stick around for that. We're also going to turn on all those LED lights, so stick around for that as well. 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar, 8-speed automatic transmission, 285 horse, 260 foot 
pounds of torque. The other new thing for 2024 is this one has the Dana M220 wide full floating rear axle. And basically what that does is it, that increases your tow capacity to uh, 5,000 pounds. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. And then your optional equipment starts with the customer preferred package 24Y, which is the Rubicon X. And that is a $12,500 option. Notice you get the Napa leather seats there, the four-way power and eight-way power uh, adjustable uh, front seats. It does have the heated steering wheel, heated seats, remote start, Alpine premium sound system, connected travel and traffic services. You connect five with the 12.3 inch display, 17 by eight inch machine wheels with black pockets, body color, Rubicon Highline flare or fender flares, the bigger tires, the body color three piece hard top. Uh, so right there, that's like a $4,000, $5,000 um, upgrade. So you can figure that into the uh, Rubicon X price there. The four to one rock track, heavy duty, full-time four wheel drive system, blind spot, cross path detection, remote start, automatic high beam, headlamp control, park sense, rear park assist system, integrated off-road camera, rear def window defrost, rear window wiper washer, hard top headliner by Mopar, no soft top, freedom storage peg, uh, front and rear steel bumpers, hinge gate reinforcement by Mopar, and then the eight speed automatic transmission is 4,500 bucks. Cold air intake, intake by Mopar is 525 doors off kit, which is pretty cool. That might be new for 2024 is a $195. And then performance satin black grill is 325. Warren Winch is 1995. Total MSRP on this one is 71,230. You get a three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. If you want to get your summit price on this particular Jeep in the upper right hand part of the screen, is a link to our website, uh, to this vehicle on our website. So click that and check us out there. 16 city, 19 high highway, 17 average. And I think that's probably pretty accurate um, for the bigger tires and everything. And rollover is the only thing rated on here. One thing to note, uh, so I ran the uh, build sheet on the clone to this one that we have. And uh, basically, whenever you get the 31570 R17 tires and the, uh, the lift and everything with the Rubicon X, you get the 456 gears. Now, if this one comes with the smaller tires, I think you still get the 410 gears, um, but you do get the 456 gears if you select those tires. I don't know what package that is called. This is the 24Y, so the 24Y automatically comes with the bigger tires and the 456 gears. Other thing to note that I just learned, you can get the 488 gears as an add-on on Jeep's website. It is a $995 option. Go check it out on jeep.com and build one of these yourself, which is what I did before this video. You get the LED tail lamps, the backup parking sensors. You get the hinge gate reinforcement. So when you get that, you get the bigger tire obviously, and then you get these back light extensions. You get the Ralph on the right, and you get the Louis on the left. Louis Bulldog, and uh, the backup camera is out a little bit farther too. Red tow hook back here. This is your bag for your front hard top pieces. And then here is your box for that doors off kit. So basically these are just two mirrors that can attach to the, I believe it's the uh, door hinges on here. We're gonna have to take these doors off and figure out how these install uh, but there's your part number and everything. So if you wanted to order these, you could probably call Jeep and say, hey, get me this part number there. So that's pretty cool. Get your Alpine premium sub uh, subwoofer. You also get storage under here. That is your um, winch controller. And then you get door hinge, roof, and windshield bolt holders there as well. The other new thing for 2024 is your holders for your electrical and your washer fluid. There used to be like a holder right here on the outside. They put that underneath this plate here. This kind of just pops out of there. Kind of easy. And you can see that is uh, where you put them now. And then you can put this plate back over. And that kind of just snaps into place. 
and uh, everything's out of the way when you take this hard top off, which there's four bolts on each side, and then two, those two quick disconnects. We did a video on how to take your hard top off. Very popular video. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand screen. The only thing that's different is where you store those two um, connectors there. You get the seven slots on the back grill, or on the back door, I should say. And then the G JL plate right there, two door, four door, with the wheelbase and overall length and the water fording where it's made and where it was developed. So that's pretty cool. Now that's been on the Jeep since 2018 with the JL, so that's not new for 2024. And uh, we'll do a quick look back here. You can see those seats fold down almost completely flat. And when you put them up, that headrest can stay down for better visibility. If nobody's riding back here, you get floor mats, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs and two USB C plugins there as well. Otherwise, the only thing that's changed are these map lights. They now have them over the driver and passenger rear seats a little bit better. And the speakers are a little bit different shape. And I think that is because they've made the other big safety upgrade for 2024 is they now have side curtain airbags on the Wranglers. So that's standard across the board, all the trim levels. So really nice safety feature there, but I think that's why they had to change that layout up there. Still get child safety locks on the back doors. And here it is, the power seat, the much anticipated, the much talked about power seats. Both the front seats are power. Both of them have a lumbar adjust. They both have the stitching. This is the Napa leather. And I will say the Napa leather is very stiff. You can see my fingers barely put an imprint in there, but it is a soft touch leather. Uh, so I think they made it really stiff. So it's a little bit more durable. So it stands up to water better. I'm not sure. They kind of made the stitching really tight too. And I think that's to protect all the electro electrical uh, power stuff underneath so that it doesn't get ruined in case you go water fording or if you get rained on very heavy with the top off i think that's why they made the leather so stiff on there would be my guess um, the whole seat's same texture of leather this badge is new for 2024 you get a jeep and gladiator backed up to each other auto headlamps this dash material is different it's not really leather it's kind of textured that piece right there is different as well power mirrors power locks the steering wheel is a new leather as well and that is a soft touch leather just like the seats um, feels really good bluetooth and information center controls audio controls in the back nothing's changed there cruise controls on the right uh, adaptive cruise controls so i think that is kind of new as well you can get that option previously but i think it's going to be standard across the board uh, just like we see on the Grand Cherokees, the adaptive cruise control has become a standard safety feature. You can't get a Grand Cherokee without the adaptive cruise, so I think the Wrangler is going to go the same way. Anyways, 7-inch LCD display is all the same, digital speedometer, and uh, you get, this is new, this is the Uconnect 5 12.3-inch radio, has the factory navigation system. This is going to be the standard radio size for all of the trim levels from sport all the way up to the 392 and uh, this one the only difference is some are going to have nav and some are not this one does have nav so you get that upgrade on there you get am fm and sirius uh, there are all your different sources that you can do so quite a few to choose from there are your climate controls including your dual climate controls your heated seats heated steering wheel controls and then you have all your different apps on here. So right away, I'll show you the off-road pages. Look how fast they loaded. The Uconnect 5 system, super quick, especially with loading that off-road page. Latitude, longitude, altitude on there. You got your sway bar if it's connected or not. Same with the uh, front axle and rear axle lockers. Transfer case, steering angle. As I turn that steering wheel, you can see that those wheels actually turn. And the angle changes. So that's pretty cool. Get your accessory gauges, your pitch and roll, and then you get your front camera, which has dynamic grid lines. Once again, as I turn that steering wheel, 
those lines change. So imagine going on a trail and not wanting to hit a rock or go over a rock a certain way. You can kind of angle your tires to make sure that it's going over correctly. And then you got your backup camera, which is nice and HD. Great for hooking up your boat camper or trailer to your receiver hitch. So that's pretty great as well. And then you get all your different apps on here. I'm not going to go through all of them, so feel free to pause this. Now, if there's anything that you want me to go through on this radio, I'd be happy to do a video for that. Um, if I get enough requests, I'll definitely make it very nice and detailed. But for right now, I'm just going to show you all the different apps on here. And that's all you get. Everything down here is standard and nothing's changed from here down, uh, so the eight speed auto, the uh, four by four shifter keyless entry with that flipper key with the remote start on there, and that can sit in its holder right there. So nothing's changed there. Once again, you get that new material on the dash. The vents are different. You get them right under the radio as opposed to where they used to be on the 2023s right there. And then this black piece kind of naturally blends into the instrument cluster so it looks like one continuous cluster all the way through that's pretty cool and then this has changed up here there used to be a big storage area now there's two little storage areas and this centerpiece right here this is just a plate i thought maybe it was a speaker or something but it's not um, insulated hard top that is also a standard feature on the rubicon x keeps it a little bit warmer a little bit more sound deadening uh, when you're on the road and then you get those map lights right there as well side curtain airbags in the front too you get assist and sos buttons auto dimming mirror and your home link buttons there as well so i'm gonna go turn off all the lights in the studio i think that is everything that can be covered on this particular jeep and uh really appreciate you checking it out if you have any questions comments uh, anything I miss, definitely let me know. Uh, the more you let me know, the better my videos get. So uh, I'm going to turn off all the lights, do a final walk around, and we'll be all set. All right, so you can see just how nice those lights all are and get a good idea of how just how bright they are as well. And the reason I turn them off is so you can get that effect of just how bright they are also when they're shining on the wall here and the garage door, you can see just how nice and bright they illuminate everything in front of them, which is a major safety feature. And uh, really glad that they're making that standard across the board pretty much on the Jeep Wrangler lineup. LED tail lamps, LED license, or, uh, license plate light. You can see those tail lamps look really good and just a really good looking Jeep Wrangler here. And once again, I really appreciate you checking out the video. And if you liked the video, put a comment below. If you learned anything, like, subscribe, and share. Do videos like this all the time. Go check out all, all of our other Wrangler videos. Almost 5,000, or almost 8,000 videos, over 8,000 videos on YouTube. Almost 500 Wrangler videos on there. So definitely go check us out. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there. And if you want to check out more HD videos, go to youtube.com slash summit auto, click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle or a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left and a link to how to take your JL hardtop off your Jeep in the lower right. Click those, check us out. Everything is in the description below, so check down there as well. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again for checking out the video. I really appreciate it.